But we begin tonight with big changes coming to the polls this year. Yes, and that is an understatement, isn't it? Current registrar of voters, Mary Bedard, discussed those changes coming our way at today's Board of Supervisors meeting. For months now, 17 Zaytan Wallace has been looking into how universal vote by mail will work, and he is joining us now with what you need to know. Hey, Tom. Well, Jim and Tammy, no doubt that there are several changes this time around. Most notably, this is a 100% vote by mail election. But Bedard made clear today, if you want to vote in person in Kern County, that is absolutely an option. They're out and on their way. Millions of ballots across the state are in the mail, set to go to every single voter on the rolls. In Kern County, that's 412,285 ballots. Each voter will have the option to fill out the ballot and send it back in the mail or drop it off at the elections office or at these locations during the last three Saturdays in October. But what if you want to vote in person? Good morning, Chairman Perez and members of the board. Speaking before supervisors today, current registrar of voters Mary Bedard said voting in person is definitely allowed. In fact, she says Kern will have more in-person poll sites this election than it did during the March election. The catch this time? The single biggest change for voters planning to vote in person on election day is that since all voters were mailed a ballot, voters will need to surrender their mail ballot in order to be able to vote regularly at the polls. If you do not bring your mail ballot to the polls, you can still vote provisionally, but that means your vote will be counted only when the elections office ensures you are qualified to vote and that you did not already cast your ballot in the mail. And when it comes to ensuring a safe voting environment? There is a lot of concern among voters and poll workers about the fact that we cannot require voters to wear a mask. However, I want to assure you that alternate procedures are in place, including the option of allowing voters to vote in their cars. Bedard also says each polling place will have a separate area for voters not wearing a mask. In order for your vote to count, the envelope with your ballot must be postmarked by November 3rd. In studio, Eitan Wallace, 17 News.